What's up fam? Brittany here with another amazing Sunday video for you. Amazing. Also, Americanos are where it's at. I just want to let you guys know that. Um, okay. Something I wanted to talk about today that I just had like an epiphany because I'm prepping for three upcoming gigs this week. And I wanted to talk about what that looked like in terms of taking care of yourself as a speaker. Now, this is not a, a video that's like, go eat healthy, work out, run, do a marathon kind of chit chat. This is like pouring into you as a person, which radiates to your audience, right? So you have to ask yourself, like, what do I do? What's my pre gig ritual? And that's really the week leading up to an event. It's not just the day of, I mean, the day of pre-event ritual is really important, but I have been engaging in my typical stuff. So let me tell you something that I do. So like leading up to an event is practicing the talk, obviously. So you want to practice, you want to have confidence in what you're saying. You want to like hit your marks. You want to have your PowerPoint on point. If you use PowerPoint or your props or whatever that you do, right? Making sure that's all good. I'm talking about getting enough sleep. I'm talking about energizing your spirit and your mental and emotional health and taking care of you. And there, there are so many things around us, like especially in the time of year where we get sick a lot, you know, like winter, and there's a lot of people that are out with sickness right now. In fact, someone asked in our online network what you do, like, you know, when you get sick, she was like, you know, I'm not sick right now, but I got really sick last week. And I instantly thought like, what do I do when I have gigs, right? Like, what do I do? So couple things here. <laughs> Number one, the show must go on. Okay. The show must go on at some point. And unless there, there are things you can put in your contracts for, you know, when pretty severe things happen in your life or to you and things like that. And if you have to um, potentially not make a gig because of the contingencies, including health, then it's really important to have speakers like in your arsenal, right? You can be like, Hey, I won't be able to make the event. And then you put in there in the contract, like all the contingencies around fees and everything is like, but I recommend this speaker, you know, do them a favor, like make sure you get them set up for success. But it's rare. It's rare that that happens. Um, I think that a lot of people, if they, they, they just know. So it's really important to, to take care of yourself. Yes, life happens, obviously. But what are some things that you can do to take care of yourself? Because your audience and your event planner and your decision maker deserve to have you at 100% for the event. And if you're not at 100%, you got to pull it out of you, right? So there's one time I remember I was driving to an event. It was a local-ish event, so it was about an hour away. And it was a keynote and it was my third keynote within three days and it was the beginning of 2023 and it was my first three of the year so it was like the second week of january and i was driving to the event this was my third one in three days and i started to feel not well you know when flu hits it hits very fast right and i started to get like the cold sweats and i was getting a headache and i just felt literally awful. And I remember thinking the whole way there, I was like, I am getting the flu right now. My, my voice had been going the, the few days coming up to it. You know, I was really powering through my keynotes and I was resting my voice when I needed to. And cause I take care of myself regularly, but again, life does happen. Right. So I'm driving there and the whole time I'm there, I'm miserable. Like I, it just keeps getting worse. And I, I'm just like, you just gotta get through this. Because, but here's the thing, it's really interesting. It's your, your adrenaline really does take over. And it was like Michael Jordan at the state finals when he had the flu, right? Like you just get out there and you perform. And as soon as I got off stage, I looked at my decision maker, who's now a really good friend of mine. We were friends then too, but she's now a good friend of mine. And I looked at her and I was like, I think I'm dying. I need to leave. <laughs> so, but it just happens. Like it just happens and you have to make a decision. Sometimes it's a game time decision. And by game time, I mean like a couple of days leading up to the event. But for me, it was literally in the moment and I knew I had to power through, like the show must go on. And, but how can we stay well? So those things don't often happen. And when they do, we're prepared. So 
one of the things I think is really important is sticking with your routine, even when you're on the road. So one of the things I do is I work out consistently. And even if it's just going for a walk or, you know, I wouldn't do a seriously hard workout right before a gig, just in case you injure yourself, right? But you take care of yourself, get a good night's sleep, you know, make sure you're practicing leading up to the event to calm your, your mental and emotional health. There are a lot of different things you can do to prepare for an event. But the overall like lesson here is your audience and your decision maker deserve to have you at 100%. Whether you're operating there or not, how can you continue to provide 100% value and show up for them 100% regardless, right? Because there will always be something. You could have a bad day. You could have, I mean, it just depends, right? But how are you going to show up? So just having those conversations with yourself now and like mental preparation, like are you going to be the person that powers through in the moment and the show must go on? Or are you going to be the person that's like, um, you know, having a contingency plan. Now there's always things I would definitely put in your contract. Like there are things in my contract, like let's say for example, God forbid, but like we had tornadoes, we have tornadoes in our area all the time and my house got destroyed and the next day I had to leave for an event. That's probably something I would probably stay home for, you know, and like take care of things on this end. So in that case, I would, there, there are things in my contract, you know, acts of God or acts of weather and things like that that I would have things in place and I have speakers I could call. This is why it's really important to grow your network of speakers too, because this is going to happen. And I have been called before as a, um, by decision makers or event planners where they're like, we're kind of in a pinch, like this is what happened. And you know, either I, if I'm not available, I recommend another speaker because I don't want them actively out there searching for things. I want to also do them a favor if I can't cover the speaker. So there's a lot of different layers there, but overall, I just wanted to lean into the fact that take care of yourself. Your audience deserves you at 100%. You deserve to be at 100% when you're delivering your message and continue to serve your audience. And that will radiate through your talk and that will radiate through with your event planners and your decision makers. So take the time to take care of yourself, even leading up to an event, especially leading up to an event. Okay, friends, go be great. See you next Sunday.